I did rank my choices. I ranked it and it was really easy to do. It was pretty easy. There was nothing that was challenging about ranked choice voting. It was very clear how to rank my choices and which candidates were available to me. There's been a lot of education about it, so I really knew what to do. I gave one to the people that I really wanted to win, and then I gave second the people that I really wanted. If my person doesn't didn't get it, the next person I wanted to, to get that vote. I've been following this election and I was able to put down the candidates that I thought was be were best going to serve Minneapolis. It gives you more option. It makes you think about who do you want to choose first, who do you want to choose second, and why. I think it made it more thoughtful for me. It, it caused a little bit more thought. It allows me to vote my conscience first and then my slightly more electable conscience second. You're able to actually choose your first choice, even if it's a reach. Ring choice voting did change the way that I voted. I was able to vote with my heart, my head, and my gut, um, whereas usually I would just have to vote with my head. It allows you more choice uh, because often, you know, your first choice in candidate isn't always necessarily going to win. With ranked choice voting, you can make your voice heard across all the candidates that you know you can support in greater or lesser degrees. The ballot is a lot different than it would have been. There would have been a Republican, a Democrat, and whatever else. And, and uh, in this case, we're not voting for a party, we're voting for a person. It's not just a, a one or nothing kind of thing. It's a little more nuanced is what I'm trying to say than just a simple uh, vote for this or that. Well, I like that the candidates have to really appeal to people beyond just their base. They seem to, to talk about things in a constructive fashion. Dare I say it, it injects a little bit of positivity into the, into the race. I get to support candidates that support different values that I have as an individual. New ideas can be presented that couldn't be presented if you had to get a quorum in a, in a convention or something. It's much more efficient. Okay. You don't have to do primaries, right? It's uh, very practical. It just feels like you have more choices and a better way to like affect the actual outcome. It feels like you're having a bit more say. I want to make a difference locally, and this is how I can do it. I think it'd be a good idea everywhere. That's what I'd like to see. Yeah, I mean, even um, nationally, federally, that would be great um, to give third-party candidates a better shot. Absolutely. Give everybody choice. Give them opportunities.